Hello everyone, this is Brad McMahon with Trader Trading Headquarters. You are watching our free educational video series for traders and investors. All we ask in return is that if you like the video, like it, and if you really like it, share it with a friend. Please take a moment to read our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinions only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only. Now the hammer formation is created when the open, the high, and the close are roughly the same price. Also there is a longer lower shadow, which is typically twice the length of the real body. Now when the high and the close are the same, a bullish hammer candlestick is formed and it's considered a stronger formation because the bulls were able to reject the bears completely, plus the bulls were able to push the price even more past the opening price. On the other hand, when the open and the high are the same, this hammer formation is considered less bullish. Now the hammer is extremely helpful candlestick pattern to help traders visually see where support and demand is located. So after a downward trend, the hammer can signal to a trader that the downtrend could be over and that any short positions could potentially be covered. So in this example of WebMD, we had a bearish sell-off, we had some consolidation, a run back up, and a rollover, and we get our hammer. So the way we want to use this hammer is we want to see some confirmation. So we can see that we have some type of support here around the 2850 area. We had a, a doji or some spinning tops. And this tells us that what happened this day is that the bears came in and sold off and tested this support area. And sure enough, the bull shot back in, but they didn't close above the opening of the day. So what I want to do with this signal is I want to wait to the next day or even the second day to get that confirmation that the bulls are in play and sure enough over the next few days and even weeks the bulls come in and buy in WebMD. So on this chart we have a high and the close about the same. This is a bullish hammer candlestick and this is really considered a stronger candlestick because the bulls were able to push the bears back. Now once we had this sell-off, the bulls were able to push the price even more past the opening price. And what I mean by this is we get this slight sell-off. We open here for the day and we sell off, which we're testing some type of support or resistance, which I see some support in here. So around the $6 range, the bulls come back in, but this time they're able to push past the opening price and close relatively near the high of the day. And as you can see, the next day we gapped up and the bulls really took charge. So in this case, other indicators should be used in conjunction with the hammer candlestick pattern to determine the potential buy signal. For example, you may want to wait a day or two to see if the rally of the hammer formation continues or use some other chart indicators Tick such as a breakdown in the trend line uh, but other previous days clues could enter into the traders analysis for example in these clues in the chart of WATT we show three prior dojis and spinning tops Tick so what I mean by that is we see that we're getting some type of support right here with these dojis and these spinning tops and then we form our hammer and we shoot back up. So this is our confirmation and I really see, and this is getting into some more advanced technical chart analysis, but I see some support right here where we could draw a trend line across here. And once we break that trend line, then we know that the bulls are in charge and we can go into our long position. Okay, so that's the hammer candlestick pattern. Thanks for watching this video and if you like it, like it. If you like this video and would like to learn more about stock charts and patterns, visit our website at tradertraininghq.com. 
Here you will find lots of information on trading the markets. Go to our training tab and you'll find free courses, articles, trading view charts, watch lists, trade examples, books, and even a chat room. If you'd like to get a fill for our membership benefits, fill out this information here and create a password and you'll get access to more free lessons. The free lessons include simpler stock trading for beginners, candlestick patterns, chart patterns, free introduction videos, webinars, and a trading community where you can access all of our social media links.